professor, I would test you in the worst way. Don't bring a scantron, it's pop quizzes all day. Cause of our chemistry, we do biology. What's happening, fam? LA y'all moving, still moving. Subscribe to that try. You see the thumbnail, man. LeBron, Jerry, Kyrie, and America. So I did a live about it, but I gotta shorten it up sometimes and, do, and also do this video to to drive some other things home. So I'm talking about when LeBron James got up on the podium and talked about um, the Jerry Jones photo. Um, trying where white folks are trying to intimidate black kids from going to integrating high schools and like oh he's a racist now well he hung around racism I'm like it's 57 years ago and guess what america was racist and people who were racist back then are in power now and that's why we have all these issues with racial issues because the same people that were kids 57 years ago run companies now, and some of their stances come off as a bit Jim Crow-ish. So that's what it is. Um, but LeBron pointing it out was interesting because, you know, not too long ago, it was like, LeBron, man, Kyrie's your friend. You know, man, you, you, you kind of throwing him under the bus. And I guess, like, it now was a perfect time to go, yo, I mean, hey. Well, you know, because he said something poignant, you know, when it's somebody black, it's all over the news, it's in the tabloids, it's on the ticker, it's going off every five seconds. When it's somebody white, eh, let's just get rid of that. Next. He's right. Uh, the thing about Kyrie, people was going too far. And people know this. And the irony of it is, is now you see, a, you know, if you just, you can look up all these articles of, 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 People questioning why is Amazon going to take it down? And they're like, no, I'm not taking this down. No, you know, it's on our site. Is it actually, it's generating money. We're getting paid for it. You know, no. But now people don't have the same issue with Amazon. Amazon don't have to pay $500,000 to the ADL or nothing like that. And, and it makes this stuff, you know, they don't have to get sensitivity training or nothing like that. You know, because they're white people. So it's like, oh, that's all good. And it, it, it points out the hypocrisy. So the other thing that um, for me stands out is when you, when you look at the sports world, it's kind of interesting that the, the focus is on so many black players. The focus, like America's focused on so many black players. America's focused on the size of people's contracts. You know, oh, you're making this amount of money, you should do that, 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 that. The focus is not like that when you change the, the racial colors. I mean, they, they will say what a, what, a, what a white player got paid, but Every, t every time they don't do their job, oh, he's getting, blah, 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 blah. he's getting paid all of this money and he's not producing. Nope. Nope, it's not that. It's just, it's just like, well, you know, there's a bad day at the office. Oh, if they got a little bit more help. See, this points out, you know, America. And people might say, LeBron's a basketball player. What does this matter? Because LeBron's a Cowboys fan. They ask LeBron about all kinds of stuff that doesn't have to do with basketball, you know, the social justice stuff. And it's like the other hypocrisy with America is, you know, you want black people to come to the defense of white people when, it, when black people are quote unquote out of pocket. But you don't want black people to say anything about white people being out of pocket to black people. And, that's, and then it's like, oh. Uh, they're smart enough to realize that um, we're being complete hypocrites, but we have money and power and influence and it, it doesn't matter. We'll do it again tomorrow. And it's like, no, nah, not really. No, nah, not really. We'll take away everything you've ever accomplished if you don't fall in line and do what I say. Mm, whatever. So now you see this happening over and over again where people's um, hypocrisy is 
front and center. And since it's front and center, and you can't dispute it, like when people have to point out to to the media, when people who aren't in media and in news organizations have to point out to the media and news organizations how full of ish you are, even in the material that, that you put out, because the way you approach it is is, is so um, double minded. It's so double. It, it, it reeks of double standards. Then, and you go, oh, I'll just write a different story. You can't. That's why people say, you know, I, that's why social media is becoming more popular than media. That's why for, for the last, you know, years, you know, for the last like 15, 20 years, you've seen newspapers close and fire staffs and news stations, you know, streamlined and downsized because people aren't really believing what's coming out from the media because other people who are not in the media have to bring out, yo, something ain't right about these situations. And when you got basketball players have to point out the media and athletes that you try to put on the pedestal and jam up at the same time can say, hey, see, this is the stuff y'all do. And people in America get mad and then make dumb excuses. Well, well, you, you should have did what I wanted you to do five years ago. And then I would, I would agree with what you said now. Shut up. You sound stupid. But this points out what America is. This points out the hypocrisy. And this points out, you know, you want the athletes to shut up when you want them to shut up. You want them to speak when you want them to speak. But you want to be able to be uh, hypocritical the whole time. But tell me what you think about that. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll try and catch you on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm gonna take you. <laughs>